ne ambasado elebe loke iwo wo jegbe oruwa uruwe mi soko evere isoko ile isoko jegbe ebi isoko menya ze nona menya ze le metiru e ya no me ya o de nupo gba menya ze le metiru e ya no me ya o de nupo gba i have come to make to fulfill the promise i made yesterday i have come to fulfill the promise i made yesterday me i nyaze come tiru to fulfill the promise eya no me ya odanupo o bonana o bonana now or right now o movrana ona o movrana ona here is the bird right now here is the bird i promise yesterday oh banana right now we are going to learn the different parts of this bird ma biti wule ate da ma wule abosasa no omovrana owo abosasa no oroma of rana we are going to learn the different parts of this bird mabiti wule abosasa no omo vrana owo first of all this is the wing the wing ibebe ni ibebe ibe bovrana ena ibebe wings wings ibebe with this the bird can fly ibebe na omovrana olesora lerora ibebe okay ib Bebe, ibebe, uzo, uzo, the head, the head, uzo, next we have the beak, ubunu, 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 Ubunu. With the beak, Ubunu, beak. The birds eat and drink water. Ubunu, Uzo, head. Ubunu. Pick. Ibebe. Ibebe. Wings. Ibebe. When it is one, Ibebe, there are more than one, two, they are still Ibebe. Ilili. Uh, this one's this part we call a budu a budu a budu 
This is the chest of the bird. Ebudu omo ovra. Ebudu the chest. You equally have some feathers here, but we can call them a twelve mavra, the hair, because they are not as long as the ibebe, as the feathers here. See them? Feathers. Ileli feathers. Feathers. Ileli when it is one. Cut it. Uleli. 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 The modern one. Ileli. Ileli. They are more than one, so they become Ileli. No more Uleli. Feathers. Feathers. When there are many. Feather one. Owo. Owo. Awo. When they are two, they becomes awo. One. Owo. Two. Awo. That's the plural of owo. You can trace the anus to this position. So we call this uvine, 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 ah, the anus, uvine. Here you have uryoho, uryoho, the neck. Uriyoho. Uriyoho. Uke. The back. Uke. Back. Back. Uke. Ule. Uweli. The tail. Uweli. Tail. Uweli. So the feathers here are also called Ileli, Ileli Ueli, Ileli Uzo, Etuzo, the hair of the head, Etuzo, Etuzo, the hair of the head. Ibiaro, when it is one, Ubiaro, there are many Ibiaro, Uavo, Ive. Ovo, Ive, Ubiero, Ovo, Ibiaro, Ive, One Eye, Two Eyes, Ibiaro, Ive, Ubiero, Ovo. That's it. By the time you open it up, after removing these feathers or hair, you will find the heart the heart the heart is called the ubiudu in isoko ubiudu ubiudu inside you have to open up before you get the heart or ubiudu it also has intestines in test intestines intestines the intestines are called evil 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 we are not going to do that now evil we also have gizzard inside this place a bb a bb a bb for gizzard evil for the intestines, ubudu for the heart, ibebe for the wings, owa for the leg, awa for the legs, 
and here you have Ibebe for the two wings, Uweli for the tail, Uzo, Uzo Mavra for the head. And uh, that's about all we can name now. Of course, Nezo, humans, ears, but it also has ears, but <laughs> we cannot trace them right now. So please, here you have the head, Uzo, the beak, Ubunu, Ibebe, the wings, Budu, the chest, Awo, the legs, Enus, Uvine, Uweli, Uweli, the tail. These are the major parts. We now have ball of Rana no Masakarigel. With this, the bird is supposed to fly about. Unfortunately, the bird will not be able to fly. It is dead. So, Novra Wogu. Ovra Wogu. Dead bird. Ovra Wogu. If it were still alive, Ovra Bokbo. Ovra Bokbo. But now it's dead. Say Ovra Wogu. When it is still alive, a living bird, we say, Ovra Bokbo. Now it is dead, we say, Ovra Wogu. That's it. Ambassador, Oline Neteno, Marien Matije Urefa, Ude, Ma Benyazeti Diowehitene, Soko Wado. E yeah. O kio de Ukbo vreno O ki nene O jekino Me Ambassador Elebe Loke E wo wo we mu Isoko E vere isoko Ile soko, yegbe ebi soko, menya zinona. Today, we are going to continue with the word nyaze, nyaze, come, nyaze, come in English, nya vre, go. Go, go away. During our last lesson, we mentioned the use of a circle word, such as veze, veze, meaning wash, not veze as in sleeping, or beveze. He is sleeping. Or no, he has slept. Or Roveze, he is in a sleep. He is sleeping. That is not the Veze that we're talking about, but this time referring to washing as if you want to make clean with water and soap. Nyaze teweza bora. Nyaze teweza bora. Come and wash your hands. Nyaeweze abora. Go. Go and wash your hands. Nyaeweze abora. Nyaze Teresa Bora, come to wash your hands. Nyaze Teresa Vara, Okokino, come and wash your face. It is now 
morning. Nyaewe zovara, go and wash your face. Ova face. So it applies to most part of the body. E.g. Awo. Awo for legs. Legs. Awo. Nyaeweze. Awora. Nyaeweze. Ibiaro. Ibiaro. Ubiero. As in one eye. Ibiaro. Ibiaro. The plural form of eyes. Ibiaro. Ubiero. Singular eye. Nyaeweze. Arora. Nyaeweze. Arora. Now. Nyaeweze. Zo. Ezo. Your ears. Ozo. One ear. Nyaeweze. I umwe umwe nose. Nyaeweze unu unura. Nyaeweze uriyoho uriyoho la. Nyaeweze udura chest. Uriyoho for neck, hands, abo, udu chest. Uke back. Igbama chest. Ivie. Iviera breast. Ekura your waist. Ikebera your buttocks. Iziabora your fingers. Iziawora your toes. Whenever you want to talk about washing of the teeth we are no longer washing but brushing so we use the word fa nyaze te fakora come on brush your teeth fa comes in not weze wezunu wash mouth wezunura wash your mouth Fako, fakora, you are brushing your teeth. Nyai fakora, go and brush your teeth. Yes. Nyai fa akora. Here you can see that Isoko is a living language because it's very rich in vocabulary that it is even richer than most of the international languages. Next, we shall continue with the work, uh, uh, to work on the word wash as it applies to you, as it applies in the Soko language in other parts of um, domestic life. Now we say, teach your children your language and your culture. Ambassador Lebe, he is saying, Isoko wado, Isoko wado, Odemarero, what today? Eveveru meno, mero wadio wairuwe, nenena. Me ambassador Elibi Roke Ewo wo jegbe Eru rwa uwe mwa isoko Evere isoko Ile isoko Jegbe ebi isoko Merete nenona What a tero vio bune Jegga vio zezi Mati wule Ever is so called my nalo lohogi. E. E me matter temet by him, nenena. 
Ma bete teme baho. E me ware jon mariru. Lo lo ho gigi. De ke momaina. Adio tolai. Ma ura. We are going to teach. Few things. Simple to understand. Like. Get up. Stand up. Sit down. Come. Go. Come here. Sit down here. Walk. Go. Go away. Come this way. Come here. These are the simple words we shall pay attention to this day. Now let us come. It's a pity we don't have somebody around us who is going to put it into action. But in your mind of minds, please visualize and see how you can put action to these words. Bama. Bama means get up. Bama. Get up. Bama. Get up. Get up. Get up. That's all right. Now, let us try to say, sit down. Sit down. Keria. Keria. Can I see you sitting down? Keria. That means sit down. It's a command. Keria. 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 Sit down. Bama. Bama. Get top. Now, we know what Bama means. It means get up. We know what Keria means now. It means sit down or sit. Sit. Keria, sit down. But you can equally say, Kerietene, Kerietene, Kerietene means sit down here, sit down here. Keria, Etene, Etene means here. Keria means sit down or sit here. Nyavre, 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 go away. Nya, simply means walk or go. Walk or go. Say nyaze. In English, come, 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 nyaze, nyaze come here, come here. You see, simple, very easy to understand, even 
very sweet to say. Remember, Mama, Mama, stand up. Keria, Keria, sit down. Nya, go or walk. Nya, vre, go away or walk away. Go away or walk away. Nya vre, nya vre. Ivie, nya vre. Please go away. Ivie, nya ze. Please come. Please come. Nya ziobune. Come this way. Nyaziobune. Come this way. Dikihetene. Stand here. Come this way. Is Nyaziobune. Nyazietene, come here. Come here. Simple. I wish you would practice these few words. It is said that practice makes perfect. The shorter the lesson, the easier we understand it. The often we practice it, the better we apply it in our daily interaction. Isoko wado, soko wado, ye. Me, ambassador Elebe. Loko e wogurwe mu isoko e vere isoko ile isoko jegbe e bi isoko mere tenenadi. Isoko wado, isoko wado, wade. Si devo, ma je teme je ule ba ho, e mejo. Koe ho, o big bava, reg big bava, vyag big bava, rekog big bava, tek big bava, vyag big bava. Meronu wa ura ena re hono. Nene na. Ma te re liyo va kwe mi o fa jo. E me na ho. O bo. Mi. O bo o pia. O bo mi o bo o pia. E me na na yo. O mo vwe me no. E rog be gbede. Je rog be ne gbe ni eta. No. No. Are le bebe rota. Aha. Re lo lo ho le a te meno na vele vele. Owo. Ore sa i du o ma te meno na. O du de he. A jok ba no. Ore ho. O ma boto urai. Le o sa i ta i vele vele. Before practicing. Saying this statement. First, try to understand its meaning in English. The Isoko word obo means native doctor or doctor. The Isoko word mi means take, seize, or take by force. Next, obo, which equally means native doctor, but in this texture referring to a rival native doctor. And the last word, opia, meaning cutlass or sword, as the case may be. Opia, opia, opia. 
you know, Isoko Talapia. <laughs> so, Abu Mioboapia will now translate to a native doctor seizes a cutlass from a native doctor or a native doctor seizes a sword from a rival native doctor or Bumiobuapia. It might equally mean a fetish doctor seizes a cutlass from a fetish doctor. Now, back to land. Ano wabe tuze me wete runwa e gwora e e runwa e gwomai o isoko. O bo mi o bo apia. O bo mi o bo apia. O bo mi o bo apia. O bo o mi o bo apia. E menai ko wasa e te menana Ero koma unwe si bobu. Li waje ta. Vere vere. Uoma. Weta koma isi asa. Obo miyo buwa pia. Obo miyo buwa pia. Obo miyo buwa pia. Werite. Weta koma. E. Weta akba ili na. Wasa awa alie. Wewa alie. They were tough, very, very. Oh, boom, your boop, your 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 your Aha, ja o vele vlele ro wa sa ta vlele. Ko tu bo e meja bo na bo o je mi o bo opia. Ma te ku yo na na e vo ba ro. Ta ro ke na te site. Ivie wa ro abo ho e me na na ta unu esi bo bo je ta e vele vele. Oh, boom, yo, boop, yo, 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 boom, yo, boop, yo. Aha. Wa rabo ye. O de marero. Ambassador. E lebe. Roko. E lu haro. E lu roa. Oro. E vele. Isoko. Wa to de. Me. Ambassador. Ambassador. E lebe, lò kè e wò gù lwè mù yi soko. E vè lè yi soko, yi lè yi soko gbe e bi yi soko. Mè rè te nena, wà do. O kè ou te nò, nò mà rè lò zi hè blò, e vè lè yi soko mà yi nà rò. O kè nà nà o kè nà. O kè ou te nò, kè mè e vè lè yi soko mà yi nà. Abe fo ma bonè mere da. Ogbe re de. O ke nana di. Jo ma fa ki ri li te. E wo fè wo no ze. Wo wo te soko. O bo te soko wè be ri a o le o bo. O kane jo wè ro. Ko. Ko. Eve u klite no no wa ti soko gule mu. Wakba di soko nata. Ko, e me bubu e gba te to wè lo no. No wakba be ta e ha na e nena. Ma jada wò e me jote. Le ma li e so masa gba e ti soko nagba. Jata komeno igba va. Igbava Stai kometi Tano Igbava Eme Igbava Manya si eme nabata We tano Ogbi Igbava Ogbi Igbava Ogbi Igbava Oye 
wajo emenavo wa bochi kufie ha emenavo wunu choko ho wenwe kufie gbe wo ma weta no ogbigba va regbigba va bi ogbigba va ha re ko gbigba va te gbigba va bi ogbigba va wasa chai when at the center where gino we soko ne major no ma we soko ma gbe be sai tagba ha keme obe vo ma unu choko obe vo ma bochi the call matter be tag kese kese o ti fi obo ko mai ele emi soko jo no ere gba vi e gba vi e mare ri ai tagbe ai o wo ma e me meje ta na ho o gbigba va re gbigba va vi o gbigba va re ko gbigba va te gbigba va vi o gbigba va ta ile me yo o sa ta gba ile na o je rere ki yo wo ma le ku me wo lo we ta e vere vere ta no o gbigba va re gbigba va vi o gbigba va re ko gbigba va te gbigba va vi o gbigba va Mhm. Was that Irene? Oh, big bava, big bava, big bava, the cock, big bava, take big bava, big bava. Maybe there are a woman, wet tiger, may well know where Tysiasa or always a Tysiava, Mali Siava Moho, me Moho. Big Bava, Red Big Bava, Yog Big Bava, the Cock Big Bava, Tech Big Bava, Yog Big Bava, Big Bava, Red Big Bava, Yog Big Bava, the Cock Big Bava, Tech Big Bava, Yog Big Bava. Uto Weno, where Tycho Memeo. Why, my brother, was I could look better? Inog big bava, reg big bava, fiog big bava, rekog big bava, tag big bava, fiog big bava. Me bete dai siasa, siasa. Me muha. Og big bava, reg big bava, fiog big bava, rekog big bava, tag big bava, fiog big bava, og big bava, reg big bava, fiog big bava, rekog big bava, tag big bava, fiog big bava, og big bava, reg big bava, fiog big bava, rekog big bava, tag big bava, fiog big bava. Aha. Melono uto wenu. Where tidy me you? Was I no no? Image a bug big bava, jag big bava, yog big bava. Og big bava, big bava, yog big bava. Kim made a bug big bava, jag wallono, or reg big bava, yog big bava. Kim a wallo jobaro. Or rog big bava no very no big big bava, the cock wallono, a woo, joe, jer, yen oi or no. Or a mike big bava. No jen yak wog big bava, no big ba. Ig bava. Or tell when no. Or big bava ficuoso, o che. Or tell you tell me. Um wait every. Or tell bavie, um wait I just say no big bava. A big bava, your big bava no. And my mother and I. Ogba igbava v hayo wo ma v ogbigbava deko ma jete ne ku honene o de ma se jete ne wa ri e wa re mata na ma je ru ha ro flere o to we ro ha ma jete ne ru ro de wa do This is Ambassador Elebe going back to the village. I'm in the village now and I want to say I have a fruit in my hand. This fruit in the Soko is called Orome. 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 Otiowo. It's another name for it. Otiwo, Otiwo, Orome, Ogololoha, Ogololoha. 
e desa na no we se bobi your door ulomena you with these three names you are calling orange orange ulome ogololoho otiowo loloho me wono gade trying to plan me big gade e wiwi e wiwi Boberu, I'm going up through the ladder. My big guy, baby, Boberu. Lee, my rose car, Urume. The Toberu no. Urume. If you jail, ja. Good. Ja. 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 By saying ja, I mean catch it. Ja. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Ja. Ofana, yes, another one. Ofana, Ofana, another one. Here is another one. Ofana, Ja. Let him, let him see as he catches it. Take him as you catch it, as he catches it. Bam! Ah, that's it. So yeah, ja. Yeah, take ja. Me, me, take. Take me. Yeah, ja, catch it. Me take. That's it. Oriano Tena. Oh, yeah. Me, me means take, ja means catch, catch it, catch it, this junction, I'm coming down, maybe lose your top, maybe lose your top, hey, we, we. Egaulume to the branches. Ebe the leaves. Ebiolume. 
finally I am down. Me rotan. Ode, my tete me ofa. Me lo wa tsuko wa do. Iye. Isoko wa do. Isoko wa do. Iye. Aha. Wadielu. No, wadu ziezi etene. Le maru ese teme. E wadiefano. Matati ha. E vaudenubo. Me ambasado. E lebe loke. E lurua. Jebo. E wogo. Uruwe mo. Isoko evele. Isoko ile. Isoko jebe. E bi soko. Me nyazi nona. Please, let us try to do a little more before the night comes in. Ma dauma uomo jo tauri o keinene utesipo ivie ma dauma uomo jo. Remember the use of the word ivie. The word ivie means please. Ivie also means breasts. Of course, by yesterday we mentioned it that breast is part of the body of humans and animals. As for some other parts of the body that we did not mention yesterday, Please listen and learn how we shall be using them in conjunction with the word Evie. Please, Evie, we shall also combine the words wash, which means to clean up. Was there? Was there? Was there? Not raise as in sleep, but was there as in washing? And some related words for wash or clean, as the case may be. Now, let's start our normal practice. Evie, please. Now, let's say, please come and wash your fingernails. In the soko, we say, Evie, Nyaze, Tereze, Ibeituabora, Ibeituabo, fingernails. Please, for Evie, Evie, come for Nyaze, Nyaze, Woze, for wash. Ibeituabo, finger nails. Finger nails. We can equally say Evie, please. Nya. Here is it. Ibe to abora. Please. Nya. Go. Reze. Wash. Your finger nails. Ibe to abora. Era for your. Can you practice this for a while? Nyaze Tereze, it be tuabora. Hayo or Hayo or go wash your finger nails. 
we can equally say your the nails the long nails of your foot or uh, the long of your toes the nails the long nails of your toes it may twow this time it may twow not it may it let me see can i bring my oh this is it may twow may twow something like this so that is it it may twow la yo so there we are nyaze sometimes your cleaning or washing might have to do with using razor blade to remove the fingernails so in this case we say nyai nyai be nyai be go and remove the long nails your fingernails with a blade as if you have to use the blade to remove them good um, when it comes to that we say be you are not washing this time. You are cleaning by removing them. So you say, be, as if you are peeling, like we said the other day, peeling the peels of, of from a, an orange fruit. Peel. So, be, that's it. That's the word we use. Be. Me be nyai for it be twa bome. This time you are scrubbing or scraping. You want to make them look neater and cleaner. And so you say, me be nyai for. 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 You use something to scrape. Uh, yes, yeah, scrape it. So in that case, we're before. Remember these words, uh, verbs as you may call them in English. For, be, rese. Mm -hmm. uh, let us see. We want to remember, please, that your very rich, very, very rich Soko language does not permit the use of woze, which means wash for clothing materials. Instead, we use the word for, which means intensive washing. Intensive washing. For. So, we use the word for washing especially for clothing uh -huh, made of fabrics yet we use the word Rose for kitchen utensils such as pots plates spoons uh -huh. so we use these ones where we talk about pots. In Isoko, we call pots. Ugo. When they are iron pots, we say uguero. Or ebero. Ugo pots. We have them in different shapes for different uh, use. So, uguizuo. Soup pot. Uwezuo, uwegu, fufu pot, uwozi, pot for making starch, uwegeri, pot for frying gari, and so on and so forth.
uweizuo, uweigeri, uwegu, uwero, ebero, and so on and so forth. So in that case, we wash. We use the word wash for such kitchen utensils. Plates. The so-called word for plate is afere, afere, or omode, pot, uwo, spoons, spoon, ugeji, and uh, all these we use soap, soap, oda, water, ame, and sponge, sponge, uzi, to do the washing. Uzi. The Isoko rich vocabulary also only permit the use of fa, 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 which means wash, but this time with hard brush, iron brush, strong sponge, sand, soap, and water. As when washing wooden furnitures yes e.g. dirty tables and chairs fa wash for wooden chairs woze wash for kitchen utensils foro wash for fabric materials clothing was a wash as when washing the floor of your house fa as if wash uh, washing or scrubbing the uh, 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 that's wooden um, um, materials wooden furnitures was a was a wash for our body parts, but ho, ho, nyai ho, as if you go to the bedroom to bath your whole body. Fa, to brush your teeth, and so on. Please remember to use these words as they apply. Otherwise, the soko uh, will not be understood by those who hear it from you. Ule mora eberera ine na hokena waji soko fo wabo today soko wado. I will not be so worried. Let me show you something. It continues, not so. Odome, Amaga, knife, small knife, pen knife or knife. Mebe, be, Odome. I am peeling the orange. Mebe, be, Odome. Be, 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 be. You can see the peels are going out. My knife is sharp. I got married that da. Urume, urume, orange. This is sweet orange orange my hands are not very clean about me or fertility so means i will need to wash my hands there's no water but i must wash wash before i take it so here i am okay. 
I've washed my hand and the earrings. Now, I've washed my hand and the Me be blue. I have just cut the orange. Now, me be lalo. Mmm. It's so sweet. Oh, Me be lalo. Olome. Ibi olome. Ibi olome. I should throw off the seed. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. So sweet. I am a forever full of water. Yes. Mm. Yes, This is good, nutritious, full of vitamins. Now, you care? Well, Lalo. No. <laughs> okay. No, who blew Olome half of the orange? We have the peels. Eho, Eho, Eho Olome. Peels. Eho Olome. Olome. If you have your way, please plant one in your compound. It's good for you. Ode, Maruero. Olome. E Olome. Olome. Ibi Olome. Ibi Nareko. But I la Olome. Oma, Oma. Okay, nephew Boko, I so go a do. Me ambassador, a libe. Look, a woo, jibbe, a rua, we more is so co. A very so co. A lay so co. Jibbe be so co. Married in a co wina. Is do. Yeah. Nenena. Me fake wololi ho uve nana. Lu dese omo vrajon me mu. O denu kubura ko wai. Re maje ruvo vuna ru ure. E kwa kwa sa sano. A bo sa sano. E romo vrano manebe leliera. Today, I just want to show to you a bird I caught yesterday and use the same opportunity to mention some parts that makes it fly in the Soko language.
Today in Nisoko means nene. 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 So nene. Today. Nene is today in English. Nene in Nisoko. This day will mean nene na. This day. Nene na. Me wolo. Me wolo means I want or I want to. So I want to eat will mean me wolo yo me wolo yemu me wolo yemu I want to eat me wolo yore doesn't matter whether you mention food in English or not me wolo yemu or me wolo yore I want to eat me wolo yore Ore is another word for food in Isoko language. Emu food. Ore equally means food. So, I want to eat simply in Isoko language will mean me wolo yore or me wolo me wolo ye emu me wolo ye emu now if i want to request for food how do i say it listen carefully ke give o me means me so give me ke o me ke forgive and me for me so give me will mean in isoko come that's what it will translate to. Come, come, come. Give me. Now, if I want to request for food, how do I say it? I would say, Evie. You remember? Evie for please. Remember was discussed during our other lessons. So we will say Evie come emu. Evie come emu. Please give me, give me food. Please. Give me food. Ivie, Ivie, come emu. Right? Can you say it? Ivie, come emu. Ivie, come emu. You got it right. Or we will say, Ivie Komore. Ivie Kome Ore. Remember, Ore and Emu means the same thing. Emu Ore. Please give me food. Ivie komemu 
Ivie Komore. That's what it means. Please, Ivie Ke Give Me Me Emu Food Ivie Komemu. Now, let me request for something else. And what is it? Water. Water in Isoko is called Ame. 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 So, let me request for water now. Ivie Kome Ame. Le Meda. Ivie, Ivie, Komame, Le Meda. Please give me water to drink. Please give me water to drink. Give me water to drink. Ivie, Komame, Le Meda. Please. Give me water to drink. Food. Emu. Ivie kome mu. Le mere. Please give me food to eat. Ivie komore le mere. Please give me food to eat. Please give me food to eat. So. How do I request for a chair to sit down? Chair in Isoko is called Akaba. Akaba or Agbara. Agbara. So if you are a stranger and you request for a place to sit, you might say, Please come agbara re mekeria. Ivie come agbara mekeria. Ivie come agbara re mekeria. Please give me a chair to sit on. Please give me a chair to sit on. Ivie komagbarare mekeria. By the time we give name to other household properties, we will be able to mention one after the other the item we are requesting for specifically and what it is used for. Now, Ambassador, please show us the bed. Now, Enena. Now, Enena, Ambassador. Ivie de se omovrana koma. Ivie de somovrana koma. Now, Ambassador, please show us the bird. Uwoma. Ivie wa heromojo. Mebenyazeti dese omovra na kowai. Uwoma. Ivie wa here omojo. Mebenyazeti dese. What have I just said? Good. Please wait a bit. I am coming to show you the bird. Listen again. Please. Good. Please wait a bit. I am going to show you the bird. Uwoma ivie wahere omojo 
me benyaze ti dese omovra na kowai. Meta. E vero meno me ro wale wale we ne ne na. Me ambasado elibi roke e wo wo jegbe e ruru a uru emu o isoko evere isoko ile isoko jegbe e bi isoko mere tenenu na what a tero vio bone je ga bi zo zizi ma ti wule evere isoko mai na lo lo hogege e e me mate teme pa he nene na ma bete teme pa ho e me wa re jon ma re ru lo lo ho gege de ke mo mai na a ri o to ra he ma wo ra we are going to teach few things simple to understand like get up stand up sit down come go come here sit down here walk go Go away. Come this way. Come here. These are the simple words we shall pay attention to this day. Now let us come. It's a pity we don't have somebody around us who is going to put it into action but in your mind of minds please visualize and see how you can put action to these words bama bama means get up bama Get up. Bama. Get up. Get up. Get up. That's all right. Now, let us try to say, sit down. Sit down. Keria. Keria. Can I see you sitting down? Keria. That means sit down. It's a command. Keria. 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 Sit down. Bama. Bama, get top. Now, we know what Bama means. It means get up. We know what Keria means now. It means sit down or sit Sit, Keria, sit down. But you can equally say, Kerietene, Kerietene, Kerietene means sit down here. Sit down here. Keria, Etene, Etene means here. Keria means 
sit down or sit here. Nyavre, 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 go away. Nya, simply means walk or go. Walk or go. Say nyaze in English. Come. 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 Nyaze. Nyaziobune. Come here. Come here. You see? Simple, very easy to understand, even very sweet to say. Remember, Bama, Bama, stand up. Keria, Keria, sit down. Nya, go or walk. Nya vre, go away, or walk away, go away, or walk away. Nya vre, nya vre, ivye nya vre, please go away. Ivye nya ze, please come. Please come. Nyaziobune. Come this way. Nyaziobune. Come this way. Dikihetine. Stand here. Come this way is Nyaziobune. Nyazietene. Come here. Come here. Simple. I wish you would practice these few words. It is said that practice makes perfect. The shorter the lesson, the easier we understand it. The often we practice it, the better we apply it in our daily interaction. Isoko wado, soko wado, me ambassador libe roko ewowo be oruroa uruwe mu isoko evere isoko ile isoko kijegbe ebi isoko mede do wa ipo bize aba vivo uwure nana when last we met some common words used in a circle language like nyaze, which means come, and nyavre, nyavre, which means go away, were discussed. Let us continue from here. Nyaze, nyaze, nyaze. Come. Might generate a question like Nyaze till we me. Nyaze till we me. Come to do what? Come to do what? Or E me me benyaze tiru. 
Eme mebenyaze tiru. What am I coming to do? What am I coming to do? And the answer might be nyaze teriemu. Nyaze teriemu, meaning come and eat. Come and eat. Nyaze teriemu. Nyaze mariemu. Nyaze mariemu. Come and let us eat. Come so we can eat. Nyaze re malozi. Nyaze re malozi. Come and let us swallow starch. Perhaps with owo soup or amiedi soup, banga soup or oil soup. Nyaze telegu. Nyaze telo egu. Come to swallow or and swallow fufu egu fufu starch ozi nyazere ma gbezaharo nyazere ma gbezaharo comes we can play together nyaze tebezabo come and wash your hand Nyaze tevezabora, come and wash your hands. Nyaze teforo, ehora, come and wash your clothes. Come and wash your shirts. Nyaze teveze, teforo, foro, veze. Is wash. Foro is still wash. Weze is when it applies to washing of hands. Foro as when you are washing clothes or something else, your clothing. It might also be for another reason to greet your elders your father mother and so on so here we say nyazeti yere come and greet nyazeti yere esera esena come and greet the fathers come and greet your fathers come to greet your fathers Nyazeti yere e bakona come and greet the elders. Yes. You and so on and so forth. Please note that depending on whom you are meeting, we can substitute words like e bakora meaning your elders with words like onira your mother osera tiere osera nyaze tiere osera come to greet your father nyaze tiere inievo osera come and greet your uncles and your aunties all these are words you can substitute for father mother and so on so if you say osera that means your father onira your mother inevora your brothers and so on 
and so forth. Nyaze tell where not yere this time. Tell where come and see your father, your mother. Nyaze tell where come and see. Come and see your as I, uh, uh, we mentioned above, Onila, Osera, Ebakora, and so on. You can also say Nyazeti de de Esera Inila de de means welcome or embrace. De de ti de de Nyazeti de de come and greet. Come and welcome. Come and embrace your family members. This is where we will end our lesson today. Practice this with your children. This is Isoko for you. So sweet. Me. Ambassador Elebe Roke E Wowo Jekbe Oluroa Uruwe Mi Soko Evere Soko Ile Soko Jekbe Ebi Soko Menya Zenona Menya Zen Le Metilu Eya No Meya Odeno Bo Ba Menyaze le metilu e an meya u denukbo ba I have come to make to fulfill the promise I made yesterday. I have come to fulfill the promise I made yesterday. Me I Nyaze come Tiru to fulfill the promise Eya no Meya Udanupo O Bonana O Bonana now or right now O Mavrana Ona Omovrana Ona. Here is the bird. Right now, here is the bird I promised yesterday. O Bonana, right now, we are going to learn the different parts of this bird. Mabiti Wule. Te da ma wule a bosa sa no omovrana o wo a bo sa sa no oroma ovrana. We are going to learn the different parts of this bird. Mabiti wule a bosa sa no omovrana o wo. First of all, this is the wing, the wing. Ibibi, ni bibi, ibib bovrana, ena. Ibibi, wings, wings, ibibi. With this, the bird can fly. Ibibina omovrana or lerora lerora ibibi okay ibibi ibibi uzo uzo the head the head uzo Next, 
we have the beak ubunu 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 with the beak ubunu beak the birds eat and drink water ubunu uzo head ubunu beak ibebe ibebe wings ibebe when it is one ibebe there are more than one two they are still ibebe ilili or uh, this ones this part we call a budu a budu a budu this is the chest of the bird a budu or moavra a budu the chest you equally have some feathers here but we can call them a twelve mavra the hair because they are not as long as the ibebe as the feathers here see them feathers ileli feathers feathers ileli when it is one cut it uleli 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 the modern one ileli ileli they are more than one so they becomes ileli no more uleli feathers feathers when there are many feather one owo owo a awo when they are two they becomes awo one owo two awo that's the plural of owo you can trace the anus to this position so we call this uvine 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 ah the anus uvine here you have uriyoho uriyoho the neck uriyoho uriyoho Uke, the back. Uke, back, back. Uke. Ule, uweli, the tail. Uweli, tail. Uweli. So the feathers here are also called ileli, ileli uweli, ileli uzo. A tuzo, the hair of the head. A tuzo, a tuzo, the hair of the head. Ibiaro, when it is one, ubiaro. There are many. Ibiaro, ovo, ive, ovo, ive, ubiaro, ovo. Ibiaro, Ive, one eye, two eyes. Ibiaro, Ive, Ubiaro, Ovo. That's it. By the time you open it up, after removing these feathers or hair, 
you will find the heart. The heart. The heart is called the Ubiudu in Isoko. Ubiudu. Ubiudu inside. You will have to open up before you get the heart or Ubiudu. It also has intestines. Intest intestines. Intestines. The intestines are called evil, evil, evil. We are not going to do that now. Evil. We also have gizzard inside this place. A BB. A BB. A BB for gizzard. Evil for the intestines. Ubudu for the heart. Ibebe for the wings. Owa for the leg. Awa for the legs. And here you have Ibebe for the two wings. Uweli for the tail. Uzo, Uzo Mavra for the head. And uh, that's about all we can name now. Of course, nasal humans, ears, but it also has ears, but <laughs> we cannot trace them right now. So please, here you have the head, Uzo, the beak, Ubunu, Ibebe, the wings, Budu, the chest, Awo, the legs, Enus, Uvine, Uweli, Uweli, the tail. These are the major parts. We now have ball of Rana no Masakarigel. With this, the bird is supposed to fly about. Unfortunately, the bird will not be able to fly. It is dead. So, Novra Wogu. Ovra Wogu. Dead bird. Ovra Wogu. If it were still alive, Ovra Bokbo. Ovra Bokbo. But now it's dead. Say Ovra Wogu. When it is still alive, a living bird, we say Ovra Bokbo. Now it is dead. We say Ovra Wogu. That's it. Ambassador Oline Neteno. Marien Matije Urefa Ude. Ma Benyazeti Diowe Hitene. Soko Wado. Yee, yeah.